Welcome to a brand new season. I'm Eric from Arena Breakout Infinite's dev team. It's been a long wait, but it'll be worth it. With early access ending, we're about to officially kick off with Season 1. In Season 0, we collected your feedback and concerns to improve the game. Lots of new content is coming to ABI in Season 1, including a new map, new weapons, new cosmetics, and more. Now let's take a look at the new content included in the update. Maps with updates to the current roster. We've expanded the armory, which means you'll finally get to explore the outdoor areas, like the radar station, repair facility, and gas station. A larger map means more loot, as well as a need for solid strategies. The bunker's loot also got a refresh. The armory may no longer be the first choice for close combat junkies, but they're getting a new favorite, the TV station. This map is a tight, two-floor indoor office that's packed with rooms, which translates into intense and frequent engagements. Of course, there's a considerable amount of loot as well. No bosses have claimed it yet, so you can focus on PvP for now. The farm and valley received some minor adjustments. For example, the safe on the second floor of the stables is now an encrypted safe, and the chance-based extraction point at the valley RV camp has been moved to the entrance of Nortenio Court. Weapons. The H416, a well-rounded assault rifle that uses 5.56 by 45 ammo. It boasts one of the highest rates of fire in Kimona, and it has huge modding potential. The only drawback is that it's quite expensive, making it a rifle for the elite only. The Vector Platform comes in two models, the Vector 9 and Vector 45, which respectively use 9x19 and 45 ammo. Both models come with decent basic stats and modding potential. The Vector 45 is known to have the highest rate of fire in Kimona. A fully modded Vector can achieve an excellent rating of 90 in both vertical and horizontal recoil. The USAS-12, a shotgun equipped with a fully automatic firing mode and uses 12 by 70 shells. It's a weapon of mass destruction at close range. In addition, we have the MDR, TO3, QC61, and M96. These add up to a total of eight new weapons and over a hundred new attachments. During early access, our team analyzed weapon performance data on each map and in each mode, while also taking community feedback into consideration. balance adjustments for the existing arsenal. Weapons like the FAL and Mosin have been nerfed, while weapons like the F2000 got a buff. Refer to the patch notes on our website for all the details. Systems. Time to take a look at our system updates. Female operators are coming to your character. A new gesture, voice, and spray system is coming to the Dark Zone too. Communicating with your teammates has never been easier. The weather system has been updated as well. Light rain, storms, and fog will make their way into Kimona in Season 1. Light rain will be added to the regular weather cycle, while the other two forms of extreme weather will be limited to the storm warning and valley fog events. We've also added new season missions and a new feature the operation file. Use the operation file to conveniently view, accept, and complete missions more intuitively. Safeguarding loot from a locked room has been the most requested and we've added it to Kimona in Season 1. Players who unlock a door will now get a 30 second start to loot. Contacts have upgraded their stock too. Avita now sells storage expansion, 150 spaces, and a permanent 2x3 keychain. Don't forget to pay her a visit in the new season. Events and rewards. In addition to the two extreme weather modes mentioned earlier, two brand new modes, Farm Assault and Armory Assault, will be making their way to Arena Breakout Infinite Season 1. You'll be engaging in tense and thrilling quick raids around the Grain Trade Center and inside the Armory, adding more variation to your raids. If you thought that's all Season 1 has to offer, then you'd be wrong. Start exploring in Kimona now. Opinion matters to us. Leave us your suggestions and feedback in the comments to help make Arena Breakout Infinite even better. 
Oh, don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll see you in Kimona.